Hello there, my fellow homo sapiens. Welcome back to Reviewing Redesigns, a show that only exists because I like to give my arbitrary opinions on people's art. Now, I'm inciting to change pace a little bit. Instead of just reviewing a character redesign, I have to go through and credit every single artist. I can scroll through someone's, I don't know, Tumblr, DeviantArt, whatever, and see what redesign they do. This, t today, I'll be reviewing Rad, an account that you I think has some good signs, but also has some flaws. First thing that knows off the layout is confusing. Everything, you, it makes my computer run at one frame per year. I think there's something I'm missing, evident by the install theme button in the upper right. But I'm not installing anything to make your website look better. In this artist's design, they seem to suffer from this sort of capping themselves, I guess, when they sort of desaturate their character to a absurdist amount. Uh, this is greatly shown in the Superboy redesign. Um, I can tell they just wanted to kind of make him black, so they sort of toned down the colors to make sure it didn't, you know, look eye-bleedingly contrasting. So, we have about three designs and a general base. So, I'm going to view them on their sort of separate bases, but I'm going to go over them pretty quickly. The first one I really like, it's a good mix between the, uh, the sort of Young Justice design. I know it exists before that, but uh, I quite frankly do not care. And the uh, the actual Superboy design. So, you know, it's a good mix between the two. The second's a more traditional one. Of course, it's so desaturated, it looks almost unpleasing. It looks like what a superhero would in the actual Great Depression. But uh, it's I think it'd be better if you saturate it. Um, but if you saturate it, you have to make them white because uh, that color contrast is not going to work well. The third one I actually do really like. I like the white and blue and red. That's a pretty good combination, I'd say. That's not just because I live in America. And I do like the white little jacket there. I haven't seen a lot of those, so it's a, it's refreshing. It's memorable. Overall, I'd give the designs a 6 murders children out of 10. Next up is Power Girl. And yeah, I talked about Power Girl already. I had a whole episode dedicated to her. But uh, shut up, it's my show. So this is actually a design I really do like. Except uh, the Fingos Gloves. I'm pretty sure that is the worst thing humanly possible. Next to committing 9-11 Part 2 while molesting a dolphin while stabbing it. Now, the thing is that I, I really do like how it's not just a white jumpsuit with some red accents. There's black on it, too. Of course, the Fingos Gloves is a... <clears throat> but it has a... Uh, has, I don't like the shoes on. It looks weird. Um... The hair is a little weird. I never really liked uh, that hair in the style. It seems a little uh, strange looking, but uh, overall, it's a pretty good design. Also, is it just me, or is in this very specific drawing, does, do they look a little more ch chunkier or wider than usual? I don't know. This has been bothering me. Why is in this specific picture do they look a little wider? It bothers me. Please help me. Send help. I'm just locked in my own basement. Both of these designs, they're, they're both kind of uh, a little desaturated for their own good. And I really do think they're capping themselves, because whenever they do saturate their uh, their drawings and has all this color, it looks really cool and really good. And it's actually like art I wouldn't be surprised if I saw in, you know, an actual comic book. Up next, we got Catwoman. Or shall I say just Woman Woman, because there's not really much Catwoman to this, aside from the goggles and the fact that she seems to be wearing a leather pants. There's not much that goes to Wonder Woman. I mean, there's, they have the whip, sure, but it just seems like a more civilian clothes. It's not exactly very super super villain or hero or anti hero y. There's no real noticeable anything to it. It's just sort of a human design. But, you know, it's it's comp it's a little more complicated for my taste, but I get why people would like their costumes more uh, complicated. The design alone is a pretty good design. I just don't think it's a very good superhero design. So I'll give this a score of uh, maybe a, a four Murder's Merry Christmas cards that your grandma sent you out of ten. Oh yeah, I didn't even give a score for Power Girl. Uh, I don't know. Uh, six, uh, I don't know, out of ten.